Girl, are we gonna try something different today? Yes. Hold on, this whole thing here is just not working. Not that the situation that I have going on is any better, but we're gonna fix that in this video. You guys already know my obsession with Timu is real. Now here's the thing. The item we're gonna use today only cost me $25. You guys, I ended up getting a Dyson Airwrap kit dupe. And no, I would not pay the $500 for a Dyson Airwrap right off the bat, and here's why. I've seen a lot of influencers pushing the product, talking about how amazing it is, but when they travel, they don't travel with it. The question is why? Why is the product great enough for everyone to run and go spend $500 or more on, yet you opt to take a regular Revlon, Remington, even a T3 curling wand versus this whole kit. And so for me, it was always like, do I really wanna spend $500 just to find out why? And so I always said no. And to be fair, my husband was gonna gift it to me for Mother's Day last year. And I told him, don't spend $500 on a blow dryer because I don't know why people aren't carrying it or loving it. I don't know if it's gonna work for me, if I'm gonna love it myself. I don't wanna find out that I hate it $500 later. At least the idea of it. I've seen a lot of dupes, online, but they're retailers that I don't know if I'm ever gonna get the product, if it's a scam or what it is, and I saw it on Timu. Now, it wasn't exactly $25. What happened was, you guys know they always have these crazily insane deals. I'm always placing orders. In placing an order, I guess I snagged the deal where I was gonna get a $25 credit, which was freaking amazing. And funny enough, the same day I went on the app and saw this, I ended up seeing I had a $25 credit. So, of course, I had to hop on in and get this dupe. It comes with all the pieces, I think. I don't know. But these are the ones that I was mostly interested in. And I wonder whether or not my hair will hold or curl with this. Now this is all kind of like a plastic. Remember, this is a dupe. So you're not gonna get the full on Dyson quality. But in my mind, it was totally worth spending the money because it was an opportunity to kind of get it out of my system. And like I told Juan, I said, listen, husband, in the event that I absolutely love the dupe, maybe I will go and snag the $500 one. But I just, let me see if this is just a hyped momentary thing in my brain. These are the attachments it comes with. It comes with like a flat brush, a round brush. I'm assuming this is like the little blow drying situation. And then you get two of these. One says right, one says left. Again, these are all pretty much made of like plastic, which is fine. And then we have this baby over here, which of course is not going to say Dyson. And I believe that Dyson has like the cool shot situation where you can like cool your hair while it's doing its spirally thing. Amazon had these, something similar for like $120. Are you joking? I did realize these sold out really, really fast over on Timu, but the great thing is that they always restock. But I'll link it down below for you guys in the event that you guys want to check it out. They also had it in white. So they had this one, which was like pink and gray, and then they had it like in silver and white. You guys know my hair is very, very thin. I don't have a lot of it. It dries really fast. It's very healthy, by the way. So I don't have like fried, damaged hair and I literally just washed it. I tend to not condition it lately. It just gets, like it looks waxy and weird just after washing it. So then I would go back in and totally just like shampoo, air dry, and then blow dry. So I've been skipping conditioner because that's just what my hair has been liking. I plugged her in. We have one, two, and three. Oh, it warmed up pretty quickly. Oh, it, why you smell like that? So at one, it sounds like something's happening, of course. When you move it to two, it sounds a little stronger. And then at three, it, it, there's no difference, at least in my mind. It just, it sounded all the same, right? So I'll do it again. That's one. So there's a slight difference between one and two, but then between two and three, it's literally the same. It smelled like caliente, but I don't know, it's because it's brand new and there's plastic. No, it's not down here, it's in here somewhere. Okay, so we are going to attach this. How do you attach, oh, oh no, don't turn on, oh my goodness. Don't turn on on me yet. Come on, let's be friends. So press down, twist, and it locks in place. Let me have a sip of coffee because it's about to get real up in here. Let's see what happens.
So she actually does blow dry. It doesn't get really hot. So you're getting kind of like, um, you're not getting cool, you're not getting hot, you're getting that warm in between blow dry. And my hair right now is, <laughs> I look crazy. Right now my hair is a good 80% dry, which is fine. I'm going to push and release. And then I am going to use the little brush attachment. So far I'm kind of liking this. The only thing is I don't know how this is like the other ones are going to curl my hair considering that my hair doesn't really hold a curl unless I'm using my Remington flat iron and that doesn't even damage my hair which is great. Something else that I want to be mindful to point out is because I have really thin hair it kind of like did really really well but would I be able to use this on Ty's hair? Ty has thin but really long curly hair and then on top of that it's really dry and then on top of that it's so much hair this would never blow dry ties hair at all like i don't think it'll get it to like an 80 percent. so if you have little hair and it's thin like me i think it'll work let's try this attachment Okay, I have these little like baby hairs just acting a fool right now. So let's let's act like that's not happening. Listen, this new room gets pretty chilly, so I had to go get me like a sweater, okay? Even with the little blow dryer. I found that it was a lot warmer with this attach. Oh, I have a hair in there. I found that it's a lot warmer with this attachment over this one. Maybe it's because this is blowing out the air versus this one's concentrating it here. I really like this attachment and the fact that I could blow dry my hair this fast and then put my little doobie, you know, net on my hair and go to sleep. I love it so far. Here's here's where it's going to get real. Uh, this is for the right if I want to curl right. So we're going to we're going to use the curl attachments. I don't see how this is going to curl my hair and it's just really my hair that I'm talking about because my hair is just crazy stubborn and again the only way it really holds a curl decently like for the full day is if I use like a flat iron but I need to stop flat ironing my hair I just want to add some body waves so we'll see I'm uh, this is for the right so let's I guess hold on no is it like this No. Okay. It's a little on the tricky side.
<laughs> okay. Um, what does this remind me of when my mom used to do her hair? <laughs> I mean, the volume. <laughs> I don't think I've had this much. Oh my God, the volume. My kids are in the living room ties off from school. <laughs> I can't. I mean, what is going on here? First of all, the volume. I haven't seen this volume since I was like 19 years old, okay? I had so much volume, so much health. Oh my God, I need to take a picture and send this to my mom. Hold on. It's been 10 minutes. 10 minutes because I had to go to the garage because I heard it open. Turns out my husband's outside. Anyway, I still have some body, but the curl is gone. It's done though. Do I think it doesn't work? No, I actually think that this tool works. And for $25 that I paid, girl, I'm not mad at her. She blow dried my hair. It was very easy. It was kind of fun. I don't know if it'll get old fast, but it was kind of fun. And I've got some crazy volume. I actually normally would use the Revlon one. The per I have it in purple and black and it has the brush to it, but that doesn't get super close to my roots. It doesn't actually give me any body wave or anything like that. And I still end up with some frizz. So the fact that this actually like did a little something, something I could kind of get with this every single day. And if I wanted to curl it, then I would curl it with my uh, Remington flat iron. I can't expect too much from a product knowing that my hair will not hold a curl with most tools. So that's where I'm at with it. Is it for everyone? Probably not. I don't feel like this is going to help anyone with a lot of hair, long hair, thick hair. Is it a great dupe? I think for $25, it's a wonderful dupe. Even at $50, it's a wonderful dupe. However, the suction, or not the suction, but like the spiraling that it does is not definitely not gonna be anywhere as strong as the Dyson Airwrap. I heard that the Dyson Airwrap actually has like the, the vacuum motor vacuum powered motor, if you will. So it's gonna be really, really strong when it comes to the airflow and all of that. As you guys saw, I had to wrap my hair around the barrel to get it to kind of stick, but then it did its thing. Listen, I tend to do that anyway, so it's not like it was a hassle to do. And I really like that although this gets hot, it's not like a curling wand or another tool that has a metal base to it because I didn't get burned. This plastic gets really warm, so that's something to be aware of, but it's not like you're gonna burn yourself pretty bad like I have in the past with actual tools. So I'm not, oh my God, I forgot. Oh, wrong button. I'm not mad at her. I actually think this was a really good buy. But you guys know I really wanna hear your thoughts, so make sure you have chimed in down below. Please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you've enjoyed this content and are looking forward to more. I really hope you guys have enjoyed today's video and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye guys.